So here we have our character from the previous lesson where we already uh, added in walk cycle onto this. So you can see that the character walks in as I press the arrow keys right over here. But in order to change the walk style, you can go on over here on to puppet track behavior on walk. So just select the character that you want to work with and then go to walk right here. And here you can change out the mode right here. So you can change it out to immediate or position based right here. So if you where to use the webcam, then that is more of an option. But let us just stick to left and right arrow keys right here. So as I press the arrow key right here, you can see that it immediately starts walking. If I want it to be slow, I can change the uh, start and stop easing. Let's say, for example, I'm going to keep it at one second. If I were to press the arrow key only after one second, you can see that it actually starts walking just like that, as you can see right here. Of course, there's an error right over there that we need to work around with in order to actually make it natural. So if I were to press two seconds, then it is actually very, very slow as you can see right here. 0.1 second, then it is very, very fast right here. And the leg stays where, where it is as well, as you can see right there. So that is how it actually works out. Then you have the stride length. So if I were to increase this out, you can see that it increases the length of the walk right here. So you want it to be very subtle, you can actually bring this down right over here just like that. So it's very, very slow as you can see. You can also change around the step speed. You can see so you can really make it fast. So let's just go around. So it's very, very fast as you can see right here. But if you want it to be slow, you can be uh, just like this a bit slow and you can see that it's very slow right here. Let's change around the step phase right here. So it changes around how this actually looks like. So let me just change that out really well. And you can see that it is how it changes the rotation, as you can see, if you were to notice in this area. So let me just change around the step phase. You can see that it does not change around much right over here, just like that. So it, you can change around the step phase for subtle changes, just like that. You can also increase the pose emphasis. So you can see that the main pose is emphasized more when you actually do this. So if you were to decrease this uh, uh, down, there's no emphasis on any of the pose right here. But if I were to increase this out, you can see that the pose gets em uh, emphasis right over here when it is changing, just like that. So you want that, you want you can work around with this one as well. And then there's a uh, pose emphasis and there's body speed. So you, you can go over here just like this and it just changes out. You can also change the style of the walk to slump right over here. So it actually the character is actually slumping as you can see right here. You can go around to step right over here. So it's like the character is steering just like that. You can go for friends right here. So that is how the character walks just like that. You can go around into sneak right over here. So the character is sneaking as you can see. So you can change around uh, the style of how the character works. So you can see that the character is jumping just like that. Of course, you need to do the adjustment later on for this one. So let us go on to slump right over here just like this. Or let me just uh, stick to walk just like that. And then over here, there's the body speed over here as well. So you can go around. So if you have the body speed, the character walks actually left and right just like that. So you can go around, increase that out. And you can see that the body slides over just like that as well. So you can see that the body actually moves left and right as you go around from the body speed. Increase that out and the body actually goes around just like that as you can see. So let me just change it into 10% or so. And the body walks slowly onto the left, as you can see. So let's just go to 100%. And what that does is that it'll just walk. The, you can see that as the character walks down, it actually adjusts the speed to go left and right, just like that, as you can see. So you don't have to do anything on your own to control that out right over there. You can also have shoulder sway right here. So if you want really big shoulder sway, so you can see that, okay, you can see that that is how the shoulder sway is uh, as the character walks right here. You want to add in some style to it just like that. Or you can just keep it just like that. You can also go around into arm swing right over here. The arm really swings as the character walks now, as you can see right over here. If you had to increase this out, then you can also change the arm angle just like that. So you can see right over here that the, the it re looks really, really ridiculous right now. So let me just change it around into 99% now it walks like that as you can see right there. So if you were to change the arm angle, you can also go for elbow bend. So it changes the elbow as you can see as it walks right here, just like that. Seems like the character is dancing out right over there. 
and you can also have a bit of a hip sway right over here just like that so hip sways as well so let me just increase this out right over here you can see that the hip sway is there as well you can also go to negative just like that and it goes around just like that so over here there's the toe bend as well so if you were to increase that out the toe bends as you can see right over here over here on this side just like that the toe bends out and if you don't want that you can just decrease this out and the toe does not bend if you have the toe bend then it is much more natural as you can see right here that's like the bending effect there uh to so that it is much more natural right over there you can also increase out or decrease the strength so there's no strength in the animation whatsoever if i were to increase this out there's a bit of a strength right there as you can see but if i were to increase this out you can see that there's strength in animation now so you want to show that the character is lazy or something then you can just decrease this out as you can see just like that so let me just increase this out and there's full motion here just like that so that is how you can work around with the walk behavior options inside of character animator so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe